Good morning. This is EBS Live. EBS. My name is Paulina and I wanted to share my story growing up as a Jewish woman during Jewish Heritage Month. I was born in Russia, which at the time was communist country. And what that meant for someone of Jewish faith was that we were not allowed to practice our religion. In addition to that, we had a lot of discrimination happening at schools and workplaces where Jews were not getting admitted to the schools and they were not getting hired as well. Because my family wanted to freely practice their religion, they decided to move to a country that is diverse and accepting of all nations and religions. And that is how we got here to Canada. Being here was not that simple by any means. It meant that my parents had to start from scratch, learn a new skill, and learn a language that they never knew before. But at the same time, those sacrifices meant that I was able to get a Jewish education, go to a synagogue, and proudly state that I was Jewish without any fear. It also meant that I was able to go to university based on my grades and passion. I chose to get a finance degree at York University and pursue my MBA at McMaster. In addition to that, I was able to get hired at one of the best banks or one of the top banks within Canada, and that is TD Bank. And they did not care what religion I was, what my gender was, what my identity was. What they were looking for is the skills that were necessary to do the job. Thank you everyone for listening to my story and happy Jewish Heritage Month. Perseverance is keeping your goals even though it's really hard. Perseverance means to strive for something that you believe in. Perseverance means you give your 100% on something. Even though it's hard, you still try your best. You just want to quit sometimes, but you have to be strong. You want to give up, but you don't give up because you know you can do it. You could get back up and try again. I just had to believe more in myself and try harder. You'll be surprised what will happen if you give your 100%. Push through things to work through it. I say to myself, try harder next time. Hello, EBS community. My name is Miss James, Modern Learning Resource Teacher, supporting EVS. On Tuesday, May 16th at 6 p.m., 
I'll be presenting to parents and caregivers about becoming CyberWise with my colleague, Ms. Polson. We'll be sharing tips and resources for how to model and discuss safe online and screen time habits, as well as making connections between online safety and consent culture. Parents, I'll see you there. Monday morning. It is a beautiful day outside. I had a beautiful weekend this weekend. Mr. Thompson, how was your weekend? My weekend was jam-packed but full of lots of happiness and joy. And I'm happy to be here for a magnificent start to our Monday, everyone. That's amazing. I'm sure that we all had some celebrations this weekend. Whatever those celebrations were, we are so proud for all our moms, our mom-like moms, our friends that are like moms to take care of us, all of those beautiful relationships to just love the fact that others are loving and caring for you. That's what Mother's Day was all about. And I hope that everyone had a moment to say thank you to someone special in their life. That is so beautiful, Mrs. Merwar. And again, we want to wish those of you that are mother figures, soon to be moms, past moms, moms, just a mother figure in someone's life. We hope you had a beautiful Mother's Day if you celebrated. Now, as we move forward to in this week, we have such an incredible week ahead. I know on Tuesday is our family literacy night. We are focusing on cyber safety. We have a music trip coming up this week. Also today, I want to mention to all our parents and staff, the phones and the internet at Larkspur are not working today. So what that means for you parents is that if you are trying to get a hold of the office, you will need to do so through your homeroom teacher. And office, sorry, and staff, if you are trying to reach the office today, you will need to connect with your assigned administrator. So there's not, you're not going to be able to call Larkspur today. You're not going to be able to call EBS today. You're not going to be able to email EBS today. But again, parents, if you are trying to get in touch with one of us or with the office, you will need to do so through your homeroom teacher. Thank you for that, Mrs. Cariotti. And I also want to jump on with you with regards to the Family Literacy Night this week. We're asking parents, please make a special effort to be out. A lot of great information will be shared. And I also want to take this opportunity to remind our students that we are all responsible to be appropriate digital citizens, whether we're in a group chat, whether we're doing a group assignment in Google Docs or Google uh, Slides, whatever context we are, small group, we need to be choosing appropriate images, using appropriate language, to contribute to the making of a, a safe, welcoming, and inclusive learning environment for everyone. And that goes for field students in buildings, in school buildings, as well as online. So please, let's start the week off right by making appropriate choices. How do you feel about that, Mrs. Marwar? I'm so glad that you brought it, and I definitely have a little more to say. Boys and girls and parents out there and those who love us best, Let's talk really quickly about Roblox and Minecraft and Pokemon and some of the other games 
and YouTube and all of the other opportunities that sometimes can cause a little distraction in our day. Those are wonderful games and it is a family choice to have those games. It is a family space where you may take some time to uh, enjoy and entertain and to play those activities. They are not appropriate for a school day. And I want to talk a little bit to our parents and those who love you best at home. We will be working with our, uh, you saw Miss Nicole James on a site today, and we will be sharing lots of information about how you can uh, block or pause some of the usages of those distractions at home. And we kindly urge you to join. Uh, we will make sure we get that information to you another day if you can't join through a video chat, but perhaps through um, our newsletter. It is very important that we support you at home. And I know Mrs. Moore is taking extra time here, but I know it's really amazing days in May and June. And sometimes we get distracted. Even Mrs. Moore gets distracted with all of our devices and all the things that are near us. And so I wanna make sure that you all know that we are here to support you and to redirect your brains and to come back online to your classroom teachers. And one way that you can do that, and it's foolproof, I promise, is to unmute yourselves when it's time to speak as well as to show yourself on camera. We connect better when we see each other. We can feel each other's emotions a little bit better. Now you might not be able to keep that camera on all the time and you may need to take a break and you, need, you may need to shut it off and do something, but it's very, very important that you try your best that at some point in the day, more often, unclick your video button so that you can see your teacher, so your teacher can see your work because guess what's coming around the corner? those amazing report cards that are going to demonstrate all your perfect learning and we can only see that learning when we are able to see you and to see your work so i know i took a little extra time today but i wanted to make sure that i was sending the message to everyone out there that we are not supporting a daytime gaming opportunity those are great distractions and something for you to do after school with your parents permission Absolutely. So on that note, we wish you all a marvelous Monday. Make it great. Thank you for being a part of this amazing day. Bye, everyone. Bye, yes.